Sick as a dolphin. We got mad things to do, fam. <whistles> Holy smokes, bro. If I were in a morgue, I think they'd probably say I look the best one there. Jinkies. Prince Peter of Juniper. How art thee? Uh, been up since about three this morning. Uh, that's not true. I barely slept last night. Rugi is really sick. <laughs> and so my wife and I have pretty much been up all night helping him out. I feel like a zombie, but I decided I just couldn't sleep anymore. I couldn't even try to sleep anymore. So I got up about three, edited the vlog, um, did some sign-ups for something I probably can't disclose at the moment. That sounds cryptic. Uh, I probably like, it's probably not a wise decision to disclose. Anyway, um, and then what was the other thing I did? I did do something else. This is, all right, cool, okay. How's that? Yeah, that's great. That's nice and straight. I did have topics to talk about. I guess I'm just that dead. So I think like there's a pretty crucial conversation that I have to have today. And when I say crucial conversation, I mean the conversation can either go really well or really bad. And when I think about these conversations, I really do try and think through the different scenarios and think through what can I, how can I think differently on my end to try and understand how the other person may be thinking. And that helps me uh, think about what I'm wanting to say, what I'm wanting to get across and what I'm wanting to receive so that I'm better in that conversation. I'm not talking about trying to be crafty. I'm talking about just oh, what are you doing? You've just done Why would you do that? You're a donkey. I'm talking about how can you prepare yourself for the different scenarios so that you're not um, not sidelined? What is it, sandbagged? No, not sandbagged. But I think there's a, when you go into a crucial conversation, there's a part of you that should be able to consider the other person's point of view and adjust what you need to say, or at least cater what you have to say based on that to help the conversation go better. And I think in any conversation you have what, whatever you want and you have whatever they want. And the goal is to try and find the compromise in the middle so that the other person feels like they're also getting what they want out of the conversation and not being sandbagged. What is it? Mitigating risk is what I'm talking about. And I, that's a, definitely a skill that I've learned from being in corporate America. I wouldn't say, maybe I've picked it up from other people when I was working in corporate America, but I think for the most part, it's the practice and the fact that I'm interested in it. Like as a, I would, I don't know if I would call myself I would call myself an overthinker. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at thinking. It just means that I overthink. <laughs> Probably the opposite. And by overthinking, you start to consider, you know, the other person's approach to things. I know I'm being quite cryptic. I'm not really talking about the actual issue, but I don't think it's right to talk about the actual issue. Um, but like I find that normally when I can't sleep because my mind is going on something, I find that writing it down, putting down my thoughts 
is enough to allow me to relax and get back to sleep. But it didn't work in this case. I don't know if it's because I have to have this conversation and because I have some other work that needs to get finished. Not sure. But anyway, this morning I'm going to go get a few bits for Ruga. I'm going to pick up a, a meaty breakfast burrito. I don't know why, I, why that's interesting. I don't even feel like eating. I, j I know I'm hungry, but I don't feel like eating. But go to a gas station, pick up a loaded breakfast burrito, something like that, they call it. So we're going to Casey's again. Should I get some juice? No. But we'll get some like Pedialyte stuff for Ruger. Maybe I'll have a couple of swigs. It's nice. You enjoying that view? It's not much better, is it? I'm actually excited to, to film this, um, the game of hide and seek video with the drone. I'm looking forward to that today. I've got to test out a few things with the drone but then I think we can go out and shoot it. I, I'm not actually sure where I'm gonna go shoot it yet. That's still up in the air. <laughs> it needs to be somewhere that doesn't have people around and something that challenges the drone, like to bob and weave between things. And the reason I chose to do it with a hoverboard is because just like me walking or running, I'm just way too fast for that. I need to sort myself out this morning. I am an absolute mental mess. But that's okay. You figure it out and you move forward. You want to come and see these breakfast options? Of course you do. Alright. Be right back. Oh, wait, I'm not be right back. We're going in. You're coming in with me. Hello. Morning. How are you? I'm doing alright, thank you. How are you? Thank you. Good. Oh dear, I'm too early. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, what time does your breakfast stuff normally come out? He was a little late today. I think he's got some biscuits and gravy and loaded bowls in the oven now. Okay. And maybe another pizza. Okay. It's take like seven. Okay, all right, cool. Thank you. That's no bueno. That's rubbish. Uh, all right, let's just go get the bits for Rugi. I want to show you all of it. The breakfast pizza, the loaded bowls, the biscuits and gravy, the, I don't know, but the sunset looks quite nice. Do you want to see it? Oh, lovely. That's very nice, isn't it? All right, I'm going to stop for right now because I'm not making too much sense. So we'll pick back up when I'm in when I'm uh, at home getting stuff done. Look at me. Got the state of that. Sick as a dolphin. What's the phrase? Sick as a dog. Okay, sick as a dog meaning. Very ill, especially from a stomach malady. I mean, yeah, my stomach does hurt. I'm not saying that I'm having bowel movements. But my stomach hurts, I feel stuffed up, and oh, I just want to lie in bed all day. I do, but that's not going to happen. we got we got mad things to do, fam. 
So, do you want to see my screen? I'm. This is so for the thumbnails. I. Excuse me. I make a slight edit to the thumbnail, but only to make a certain part stand out. Oh gosh. So. I don't like making edits anymore that uh, make it look like it's been edited. It's just edits to make something in the shot stand out. But like someone looking at it very quickly wouldn't say, oh yeah, I can see he's edited that like crazy. They wouldn't say that. They just wouldn't say that. Let's get the Shrek rock in there too. Why not? Um, sure, that'll do. And then I go image, adjust, oh gosh, we're on the flipping mask. Just make a few changes. Image, brightness, contrast. Don't really need to bring the bright brightness up. This is a, a vile video. And it's funny, I would have looked at this previously and been like, oh, that's disgusting. How could you, you got to refilm that. Now... Don't care. It's just what it is. You want things to look less professional. Less pro. Let's bring down the vibrance. I want to bring up the saturation on this beauty. Let's get the... Yeah, dude. That'll do. File, export, save for web. One, I have a very methodical process for my thumbnails. Here we go. My naming convention is top tier. Yeah, I don't want to save that, do I? Don't need to save that. YouTubes. What's this? I already replied to that. Um, what am I trying to do? YouTube Studio. Going. Oh, what are you doing? I have lost the plot this morning. So I have a financial planning meeting in about 40 minutes. Honestly, I don't know what they're going to talk about. Hopefully, I don't have to participate too much, but we've got that. Edit day two, which I'm very fortunate that I edited day one yesterday because I have a pretty good idea how to do it, given that I'm not in a very good mental space. Having said that, I need to get myself in a creative space for the um, the drone video, but we can do that. We can make that work. All right, title for this. Day three, but actually day two of the TikTok at home sauna series. And you can probably guess I did it out in the snow with my new wallpaper steamer. What else did I talk about in this vlog? What other gibberish? I also tried out a self-flying, that's not right, for another TikTok. And that seemed pretty cool. Writing this while I'm sick as a, what did I say? Sick as a donkey? I don't remember what I said. Sick as a donkey, that'll do. Side quest day 044. What did I name the last one? Tried an in-home sauna. I tried an 
in home sauna. Save. Alright, that's YouTube done. Now, let me stop recording the screen because I need to go to a map. I need to find a wooded area around me that has trails that I can go on and off road on. But like I'm gonna do the search so that it doesn't give away my position. I like if I forget about it, that means all three viewers here are gonna know where I live. Wooded trails near me. Yes, allow my location. Oh look, there's a Golden Corral Buffet and Grill. That is sweet. Go elsewhere. The trouble is, like, I need to go off the path, but what am I saying? But I obviously don't want to go into a river or something. Surprising. Prairie Center Park. By the Ernie Miller Nature Center. Let's have a look at what these pictures look like. Oh, we've got a nice video here. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, it's a deer. This could be the one. So there it is with snow on the ground. Possibly. Cedar Isles Park. What do you have to offer? My whip. Oh, you're not even looking, are you? At the. Sorry. Here we go. Let me. Yeah. I'll start again on this place. Um, I don't think I'll be going down there. <laughs> My German. Dang. Scott Polzel. Holy smokes, bro. Oh, look at this. Just some fantastic foggery, photography. Foggery. We've got the, what's it called? The foreground here. Oh. It's a good looking tree. Oh my goodness, we get a close up. Raoul, you have outdone yourself, my good sir. All right. What's going on here? Okay, so that place could do. That's Cedar Isles Park. Oliver, you need to delete this bit. Um, Cedar Creek Waterfall. Oh, dude. Sweet.
actually kind of a waterfall. What happened? Oh. Jack's Harlow. Is that what I saw? I did see Jack's Harlow in here, didn't I? Alright, Lake Olathe. Is there anything here? Like, what is this photo? Who brought their kid? Get that kid out of here. All right, we're going to go up to Shawnee Mission Parkway. I think that's out here. Black Hoof Park. I don't even know where that is. That well, looks very nice, doesn't it? I had no idea this place existed. Matthew, what do you film this on? A potato? Alright, I think it's... Where is it? What road is that? K10. K10. Where's Shawnee Mission Parkway? It'll be further up. Shawnee Mission Parkway. Well, the... Where's the lake? Bro, what? Is this it? Oh, I have to hide this as well. No, here it is. Let's go on then. Oh, mate, just bugger off. Nature Trail. This might be the one. This is the place I was thinking of. Look at that. We get a nice walk in the... Bit of a swamp down there. This might be the spot I'm thinking of. Inclusive playground, what does that mean? Oh, so I went to, when I was at Walmart this morning, I had an idea that since it's so cold out, I would need a blanket. That's not where I started with the thought. I um, I thought, at what point in this video can I, like, is there a point that I just can't escape and I need to do something different? And I walked past this bin of camo blankets. I was like, okay, I could wrap myself in a camo blanket which would camouflage me with the surroundings, which means the drone probably wouldn't be able to see. But if it can see, that's a really good thing for the drone. And then how do I loop that in? It's bloody freezing outside, so I'm wearing the blanket earlier in the video. The banana. That's the banana right there. Smart boy, Oliver. Smart cookie. In which case, like, going to this park wouldn't be great because, it, you know, you wouldn't be... You wouldn't be too camouflaged. Mountain bike skills area. Skills that kills. campsite gold loop trail 
feel like this is the same one I just saw. That's nice, isn't it? Very pretty. Space ape. Hmm. Ruth Young Overlook. What are we looking out to? Not much there, is there? So it looks like we might be going to the nature trail. I can do that. Feel like death. Death be upon ye. All right. Well, I'm going to try and edit a bit of this day two of the sauna video before I hop on this call. And then I think once we're done with that, finish the video, go shoot this video. Nice. See you in a bit. How do I look? I, I think I look really good. I think um, if I were in a morgue, I think they'd probably say I look the best one there. A little bit dead. All right. So I was planning on going to shoot the the little this. I'll show you. Fate, you could not be facing me anymore. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie, this thing's pretty cool. Um, so it's gonna shoot the video on that, but. Let me adjust you. I um, there's still snow out on the ground, but thankfully it's been a little bit warmer today. It's still bloody freezing, but a little bit warmer to melt it all. So I'm just going to send them the script in place of the draft. I mean, there's not much I can do about it really. I let them know when the snow hit that we may be slightly delayed. I haven't really finished the script either. I've got a pretty good idea, so maybe we'll do that. Let's, um, should we do that? Let's do it on the hoverboard. I'm gonna turn it on. <laughs> My wife has said that um, she doesn't feel extremely attracted to me when I'm on my hoverboard. I say my hoverboard as if I've had it for more than 24 hours. Oh, you're still on. All right. Um, so this video, let's, let's wind the desk up. The crucial conversation that I mentioned earlier went really well, actually. It's, um, they always go much better when both parties are able to take any kind of personal aspect out of it and just see it for the business aspect of it is. I think, I was telling my wife this, I'm actually quite uh, proud, <laughs> proud of myself in it because 
the conversation instigated by me could go very badly. I could very easily start the conversation saying, you know, talking about you didn't do this, you did that, that didn't, you didn't do that well. And coming at the person, criticizing them, you know, coming at it from a personal aspect. Instead, like just because someone else does think something a different way to the way that you want to do it, yes, there are circumstances where that is wrong. But it doesn't always mean it's wrong. It just means it's you know, different preferences. So essentially, the conversation went, like I see that you've established this is how you want to do things. I've established this is how I want to do things. Those two don't match. So the best decision here is X. Um, and you can't complain when you know, both parties see it from that direction. It's when someone gets emotionally invested and feels personally attacked that everything goes south. Okay, bring you over here. Do you want to help me work on yours? Why did I never have a hoverboard when I was a bit younger? Oh gosh. Okay, the... Should we get stuck in, pal? You don't look particularly steady, do you, Eddie? All right. So I think the want, the setup want, sorry, is to make the drone follow me. Okay, and we can do that very easily with going into the settings. So choose settings and ride away away for follow the catch let's say is that it's bloody cold out speaking of cold uh the sauna video i uploaded yesterday i did the other one the second part today too um I somehow i ended up on fin talk finish talk tiktok because they're just absolutely reaming me for being a wimp when it comes to saunas that's brilliant what was the other part to that oh yeah the thing that sucks about doing partnered post is that you have to plan ahead so you're normally doing like twice the amount of work for a short period but then you have a bit of more downtime like the day or two before it comes to post it because the work's already done now, why do you have to do the work in advance? Because the brand normally has to review it first. All right, so bloody cold out, use blanket. See, this is where it's gonna, this is the good bit. Now they had a couple of, Video content must have, include the three USPs. What are the USPs? Oh, it's on page four. It's not on page four. What? Must include the first three USPs. Oh. The enclosure design, talking about the palm takeoff and landing. And they want it as oral or subtitled. Why not just show it? So it'd be like, set up one, oh, so we have takeoff from hand. Sorry, from palm. And then must mention the ease of use. So in here, choose settings, ease of use. And then the intelligent flight modes. Where are I?
Whoops. Like the intelligent flight mode's in here somewhere, maybe? Or in here? I'm not sure. Intelli flight modes. All right, so then what do I try? Go into my chat GP2. Oh, wait. Um, start, hide and seek. The re uh, result is that it doesn't count to 10. Oops. I tried to confuse it with flight modes. Jinkies. It's making creaking noises. I don't know if I should stay on this. Um, I tried to confuse it with flight modes. Um, but Forgot that that I forgot about game. So then I try to get away or set to follow mode. Why am I scribbling out on a whiteboard? Set to follow and try to escape. But the crisis is that it's too good at following. And I should be impressed by that. I actually am impressed. Um, Thought about ditching hoverboard but instead put on camo blanket. Um, the script is actually the GPT script. Um, if you haven't heard me talking about this, I set up a GPT script which takes in my video algorithm and then takes in some things that I expect to happen in the story and then it fills out what would be a full script with all of this. And I'm just kind of like narrowly adapting it, but it has essentially made a battery uh, game, a game of which battery can last longer against the hoverboard. So if My flaw is that I'm 
cold here? I don't know. Alright, so let me just think through this in my head. I have the hook, which is playing hide and seek against the drone while on a hoverboard. So this, the setup want is for the drone to take off from my palm and follow me. Um, Uh, oh wait, so take off from palm and choose setting. I don't think I should have that there actually. I think I should get straight into it. Um, no, so I want the drone to take off from my palm and then I start riding away but hadn't put it in follow mode. Right away but not in follow mode. Yes, and then I, it's bloody cold out, so I use, oh yes, here we go. So overthinking is my flaw. It's bloody cold out, so I used blanket to look through settings, but they were so easy, but they were, So simple. Okay. So then I start hide and seek, but it doesn't count to 10 and immediately follows. I don't know if I can even read that. Um, I then tried to confuse it. No, I don't, I don't think I need to go into the different flight modes. Um, so I start hide and seek, but it doesn't count to 10 and immediately follows. So I think here I try modes, maybe? Start hide and seek, doesn't count to 10. Sorry. Might have to do the flipping Mullen video again. So it starts following me and I start trying to get away. Hoverboard isn't fast enough. Oh wait. Start hide and seek, doesn't count to 10. Try to get away. Hoverboard, not fast enough. I could also twist that around. Instead of hoverboard not fast enough, the drone's not fast enough. Or drone is too fast. Like it's too good. Um, start weaving. Up the ante and weave between trees. Right, so here I go, I go straight, but it doesn't count to 10, and immediately follow something like it's cheating. I go straight and try to get away, but the hoverboard isn't fast enough, or the drone is too fast, like it's too good. And then up the ante and weave between trees, but it's too good at following. I thought about ditching the hoverboard and running, 
but instead I put on the camo blanket. But why, where do I get away from? Uh, something about simplicity. Right, because we've got the overthinking bit here. Put on the camo blanket. But it still found me. Like my wife and tells tells me. Endurance beats speed. Um, put on camo blanket, but still follows. no matter what setting. I choose. It's like my wife tells me, endurance beats speed. As the drone battery Outlasts, outlasted my patience. Holler at your boy. And the strength is simplicity. All right. So we have our hook, which explains what's going to happen. I then take it off from my palm. I ride away. Um, but I didn't know. I ride away. But for but forgot to put in follow mode. But yeah. What am I doing? But forgot to put in follow mode. So then I grab my blanket. It's bloody cold out. So I grab my blanket to look through the settings. Hmm. I don't like that very much because it's like I'm stopping. This bit needs to be super quick, I think, because I don't want the viewer to see that I'm riding away, like it's the video's happening, and then it stops, and I sit down, and they're like, oh, okay, well, this is boring. But how else do I weave in the blanket? What if I don't use the blanket? I think about the blanket in my car. Bloody cold out. Think about blanket. Oopsie daisy. Think about blanket in car. Hmm. No, because the floor is that I overthink, isn't it? So like I expect. It's bloody cold about and I thought about getting my blanket in car to go through the different modes, but they were so simple. So I 
started to hide, but it cheated and didn't count to 10. So I tried to get away. The hover order wasn't fast enough or the drone was keeping up too much. I upped the ante and started to weave between trees, but it's too good at following and I can't get away. So a climactic choice is I thought about ditching the hoverboard and just running. Uh, back to basics, that's it. What the hell? Back to basics, thought about back, and back to basics, ditching the hoverboard and running. Instead, I put on the camo blanket. What if I don't bring that, I just put it by bag? By bag. So I put on the camel blanket, but it still follows. I don't think I need to go into the different settings, do I? Because I've already touched on the settings down here. Or do I at that point? Um, no, I think that would be a good point actually to go through one or two of the settings. Like I'm testing, can it still track me in the other settings? Which also gives me a chance to show it off. Um, like my wife tells me, endurance beats speed. I was losing my patience. I was losing my patience. Faster than drone using battery. I was losing my patience, but the drone still had battery. But I was losing my patience. But drone still has battery. I was losing my patience. Endurance versus speed joke. I don't know what is wrong with me? I feel like I got the beginning of COVID again. sure how to finish it yet. What time is it? 10 past three. So we, we've only been up for 12 hours right now. Like my wife tells me, no, it doesn't work, does it? Okay, so I put on the blanket, but it still follows me no matter the setting I choose. And I think I name off one or two of the settings and show that in action. Um, so then what is the finale? It's too good at following. Um, 
and couldn't believe it still had battery. Um, so it, when we go to endurance over here, we don't want to put that the drone is too fast. I was losing my patience, but the drone, the drone still, oh wait. Like my wife tells me, endurance beats speed. And the drone battery was outlasting my patience. Like my wife tells me, endurance beats speed, and the drone battery outlasted my patience as I gave up. As I became the loser. Could add somewhere in here uh, that I was never good. Oh wait, but like my wife tells me, endurance beats speed and the drone battery outlasted my patience. So it was my turn. So my turn to set the rules. and stop the drone, the hover air x1. That's a good ending, because then it shows that I'm landing it in the palm of my hand. Oh, Oliver, you are freaking saucy at this, aren't you? Just feel like dead tired. Okie dokie. Should I get a thumbnail? Don't mess my hair. I wore a hat as soon as I showered, after I showered this morning. Got a flipping state of me. Uh, messy burn it. That's a great thumbnail, Oliver. I don't really like doing that so much. It seems, you know, it's not the point of it, is it? Now I'm thinking about Never mind. All right, I'm going to write the script, send it off, and then I don't know what time. I might take some NyQuil and just see how long I last. I'll do that right before we start putting Rugi to bed and see what happens. <laughs> that would be pretty mean if I did that before we put Rugi down and I just have to pass out. I would feel awful. That, oh, I should tell you this story. I didn't really... Like, how long ago was this? Maybe like seven years ago? I didn't realize there was an AM and PM version of cold and flu medicine. So I was at work one day, went to go get some cold and flu medicine, bought the blue one because I like blue, took my shot, got back to work, did what I needed to do while well, I was trying to do what I needed to do. And I'm like, I'm sat there and I feel like I'm drunk. What the hell's going on? I haven't drunk this afternoon. And I, did, I just can't work it out for the longest time. And eventually, when I pull the bottle out of my bag a few days later, I realized that actually I've just taken, I've just taken PM medicine. That was when I learned there's a difference. That's one of those stupid things. I, I must have been, what, like 23, 24 at the time? That's one of those things you look back on and you're like, how did you not know? Idiot. 
All right. I hope you sleep well. I don't know where that came from, but yeah. Oh, this week, let's do this. Let's start this this week. All right, because I'll film this and edit this tomorrow. I do need to film the sauna video again, like the day four, but that shouldn't be too difficult. And I can edit that Thursday. So we, yeah, we'll have time to do that. Let's, let's prioritize that. Okay, yeah. I didn't say bye. I don't know if we need bye.